Today, we'll take you on a place where nobody has been for a very long time. There's something both eerie and striking about abandoned places, whether it's a church or a whole city or even a deserted village. Each location is a snapshot of history frozen in time. In today's top best for everything video, we take you on a tour of these mesmerizing sites around the world. The top 10 most abandoned places in the world. They are stark reminders of what used to be, with beauty seeping through every broken glass and dust. Don't forget to drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel so you never miss a thing. And now, coming in at number 10, Garaja Ayam, the Chicken Church in Indonesia. If you ever find yourself in the jungle of central Java, you could come across a ramshackle church that is both amazing and confusing. Gresha Ayam, also known as the Chicken Church. The church, which is the architecture designed to be the form of a dove, nice try, opened its doors in the 1990s, acting as both a recovery center and a worship center for all religions. Sadly, the project costs were high and the project and the building were both abandoned in the year 2000. These days, the foul foul has become a visitor attraction, with murals decorating the body, spectacular views of the nearby mountains from the peak, and also a tiny cafe offering sweets by the tail feathers. Number nine. Tiang Dusheng in China. Looking like the scene from a post-apocalyptic Paris, China's Tiang Dusheng district was built as a miniature replica of the French capital in 2007, with its own Champs Elysees and a 300-foot Eiffel Tower. Unfortunately, China's attempt to recreate the City of Light ended up being creepier than romantic, and the initial plan to house over 10,000 residents, it's now home to only a few hundred, and the streets are typically empty, unless there's a wedding party and the bride and groom decide to take the fake Parisian wedding photos, of course. Number 8. Rumu Prison in Estonia Of all the underwater locations around the globe, Estonia's semi-emerged Rumu Prison may be the most eerie. The jail was built by the Soviet Union and packed with inmates in the 1940s, where inmates were made to labor in all the local limestone quarries. The prison was closed after Estonia achieved independence in 1991, and the lack of oversight forced the quarry to fill up unexpectedly with water. Rumu Prison is now a popular beach particularly among scuba divers who want to explore submerged buildings and mining facilities below the shore. Number 7. Pripyat, Ukraine In 1986, Pripyat was the region most impacted by the Chernobyl nuclear catastrophe. The accident emitted huge quantities of radiation, causing the people to evacuate. The site is now one of the most popular deserted locations in the country, due in large part by the ghostly sights of what used to be. School equipment, clocks all stuck at the same moment, and the iconic rotting museum park. In reality, the park has become so popular that Ukraine is making it an official tourist attraction. Number 6. Haotuan, China Haotuan, a former farming village situated roughly 87 miles southeast of Shanghai, has been uninhabited for many decades. But this is not your standard ghost town. Rather than being covered with dust and debris, these houses are now completely covered in spreading ivy and dense vegetation producing a natural environment that is more beautiful than destructive. Although most of the initial settlers migrated inland in the early 1990s, a few people still remain on the island, selling water to interested visitors and photographers. Number 5. The Dome Homes of Marco Island If Luke Skywalker existed in Florida, you could catch him meditating in one of the dome homes off the tip of Marco Island. These alien-looking houses were in reality the brainchild of a former oil tycoon, who designed the buildings in 1981 as an eco-friendly holiday home for his children. However, Florida is going to be Florida, and the extreme conditions and deteriorating waterways filled the dome homes with water and rendered them completely unlivable. There's no intention to attempt to reoccupy the futuristic buildings, but it's fun to think of stories of where they came from and what their function might have been. Number 4. The Moundsell Sea Forts of England While they appear like props in a film adaptation, these massive metal towers in Thomas Estuary were originally designed to defend England from German air attacks during the Second World War. The forts were decommissioned in the 1950s, and pirate radio operators used the empty towers in the decades that followed. Nowadays, one adjacent fort is controlled by the Principality of the Sealand, and the other can be easily seen from a cruiser, or on a clear day, from the beaches of Shoreberry East Bay. Number 3. La Palice Castle in Poland Imposing and ornate, the castle of La Palice reflects many of the famous castles of Eastern Europe. Just the castle of Lopal was built in 1979, and it's not only practically a castle. The grand house was initially designed as a gallery for the artist Picho Kazmischka, who wanted a swimming pool, a ballroom, a rampart, and a dozen towers for whatever purpose. Unfortunately, he had to abandon his project before it was finished, owing to the problem of not having enough capital and not having the requisite land permits. Today, the home, as it's called, is nothing more than a ruin of what should have been. 
with graffiti decorating the decaying walls. Number two, Belitz Hellestatten Hospital in Germany. Oh, if this old German hospital seems upsetting, well, it certainly is. Just check out its eerie resume. Between 1898 and 1930, the hospital complex operated as a tuberculosis sanitarium, also hosting the casualties of mustard gas and machine guns during World War I, including a teenage man named Adolf Hitler. The facility also became a large treatment site for Nazi soldiers after the Second World War, and was operated as a Soviet military facility from 1945 until the collapse of the Berlin Wall. Today, a few wards are used as a psychiatric recovery center, but much of the facility is deserted. All the surgery and other facilities were left to crumble and give way to nature. And now, coming in at number one, the Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia. The Eastern State Penitentiary was established in 1829 and soon brought solitary punishment to new rates within its castle-like appearance. Prisoners worked alone, started alone, and fed alone. Anytime the prisoner entered his house, the policeman would cover his head with a mask so that he could not be seen. The prison had to abandon its solitary system due to overcrowding from 1913 until it closed in 1971. Although the forms of punishment did not get any less severe, including chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrist is one example. The site remained empty until it opened its door to curious visitors in 1994 and welcomes thousands of visitors every year, both for its museum and ghost tours. Now, that's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and go ahead and comment your favorite random place, as well as don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video in the future.